I guess Blake, we're over here at Steve's place. Buddy Steve, he's gonna show us around his yard. Yeah, this is a grumachama, but I know that it produces fruits that are this big. Wow. Big ones. You know the flavor of this one or? It's got, it's pretty sweet. Um, it's not, you know, like a cherry cherry, but it's got a good flavor to it. And then I notice if I water it, obviously they get a lot bigger. This, um, this one is gigantic, dude. Yeah, it's, this thing will push out a couple thousand. Wow. <laughs> I look at the new growth, it's but they beautiful. Don't, they don't fruit all at the same time. It's just throughout the it, year. Like, like what it'll do is it'll push out like 30 a day. Really? So then you come out here and then the next day you'll have You just keep picking more. it out. Yeah. Is there yeah. some more behind it? Uh, these are all more grumachamas. I plan no to way, seed. dude. Yep. What a perfect uh, hedge. That one there is fruiting. Look now. at that. Check this one out. So that the one right this here is... This the yellow. This one is the yellow grumachama. Wow. Yeah, so this one will have yellow that got fruits on there now. You can tell it's a little different. Yep. In the leaf shape. Yeah, it's a little bit different. How that, old is this one, Steve? That one's probably close to seven years old, I would say. Dude, eight. that that is remarkable. Yeah. I'm impressed. I grew it in a pot and then stuck it in the ground last year. No way, yeah. dude. This yeah. thing has just took off. Do you want wow. to have something even more amazing? I would. Every single one of these trees that you see were grown in a pot and we tran we brought them all the way over from truck on a uh, lift and now they're all in the ground so these were all in big pots. That's impressive. And then they're all in the ground now. I know you feel proud. <laughs> Dad parent right there. This is Because look at them jambu. now. This is a wax jambu. So is that the one that's related to the... the... Molly apple. Kind of looks like a molly apple. Yeah. Well, has this one fruited yet? Yep. Yep. This one fruits. It hasn't fruited since I put it in the ground though. I think it was trying to get established but it does fruit because I already had it. They're white actually. White color. Yep. They're kind of like the Malayan apple and yeah, the, they're yeah. related. This is Mal or, um, Cherry of the Rio. These are all Cherry of the Rio. No way. I have a little small one my friend hooked me up with. Gotcha. But hey, look at the trunk of them. Yep. It almost looks like um, like guavas. Yeah, now trunk. it's got that curly bark that comes off. Yeah. Yeah, so this thing this thing is kind of a share bear, but I think if you put more acidity on it, they, they like the fruit heavy. Pro See the thick layer of mulch we got going on here. Yeah, he's been working hard these last few <laughs> weeks. It was last week, right? Yep. Oh, and then yeah. he has, what kind of seedlings are those these? Those are Potomba seedlings. No way. So I grew a bunch of those from, because they don't, my Potombas, I put them in the shade because they started to burn up. That one looks like a good one. Yeah, when they get bigger, they can yeah. handle more. Very slow grower. I Very see that. Slow. That's probably, what, a year? Those year right old? there, mm, yeah, they're Under. like eight months. That's a good yeah. size for yeah. yeah. This one produces more uh, cherries than the rest of them, but for some reason he decided to, Kind of take a break. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think now that I mulched it, he's going to be happy. You know, after this mulch breaks down, you're going to see you better see results, dude. Different. Every year. Mm -hmm. this so is, uh, this is another um, another cherry of the Rio. I love the bark on it. <laughs> this is a. See how it peels. Nice. And then that's the white, the white one, the big white, the chunk, the tie white. So hopefully they grow. Fast. Yeah, these love the organic. Yeah. It helps control the, the root, not nematodes. I hope, I hope it grows. Have you had any issues with that? Not yet. Okay, good. Not yet. Here's this your lychee. This is a hackip lychee. Nice. He's going to need some trimming. But yeah, he's... You could probably do some air layers off of it. Probably. You could sell it, dude. Yep, you could start doing that. And yeah. I don't see any lychee mites, so that's good. Well, one of my trees has it. So oh, it does? I'm it's going to spread to it. Yeah, you got to hurry, man, because this new stuff right here... Yeah. Uh, some it. people will get sulfur spray. Yeah, with, I um, got the sulfur and I was spraying good. it on my last tree. That's good. But it, it doesn't, it comes back. You know what kills it? You have to constantly keep doing it. It's a little mite that they makes eat little the new leaves. And they yeah, make, and it they makes make goals. Little red goals underneath. Mm -hmm. and it makes, in, 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 like indentation. And the wind spreads them, dude. Oh, the wind. Man. So at this stage or before this, you would spray every few times a week. Right. right. Constantly, like in the early morning or late, late afternoon. Okay. This is the one you were telling me about. You it's grew from super seed. Tropical. It's grew from seed. Some from Malayan apple. No way. Yeah, man. I'm you not... actually went there, or someone? No, I had it shipped here because it's the United States, so you don't have to have a. That's true. License for it. Called. Yeah, but he'll probably fruit soon because he's getting some size to him. Probably fruit this year. It might. It might. You put some of that potassium on it with a. Yeah. Like mix up some of that. It might send it. It might push it out. Exactly. So he's got that. I don't know it's what. Ant. Oh, it's ants. I wonder if the oh, ants are that. messing at it. Oh, look at that. You think it's ants that are eating it? It could be. 
Look at them all in there. Oh shoot! Maybe spray some sulfur with uh, a little you bit think of soap. It's killing it? No, it's not. Dude, it, it might be. It's not killing it, but it looks like it's maybe the ants are actually yeah. eating into the sugars, dude. Yep, that's good. I'm gonna spray it later. Yeah, if you get now like um, what it is. how much do you, how much sulfur do you do you have like powder sulfur? I do. I yep. always take like a, a tablespoon. Right awesome. I take a a, a tablespoon per bark. gallon. And I mix it with organic soap, like a little drop of it. Okay. And I get a sprayer. And you spray it. I got a sprayer too. And that stuff will kill it. That's what I was doing on my leafy. So oh, this good. Is a, this is a Mauritius, I think. Yeah. Does he have that one's pretty. I like your gumbo limbo. Yeah, I didn't cut that sucker down. I think it looks pretty, dude. Then I got um, Monstera Deliciosa. Oh, right nice. There. That's you know what that is. I have some of that growing. Yeah. It makes a nice little fruit on it. It does. It's tasty. It tastes like pineapple. Has this one made a fruit yet? Yep. That one I took from my old house. It had on the tree. It was growing up the tree. And those things were like this long, like that big around. So how long have you been at this place? For a few years? Uh, a year and about, about three or four months. That's pretty good. Yeah. You've and done a lot in the last... Completely altered. Look what all he's done in the last... <laughs> I know she's helped you out a lot too. Yeah. This is a Patoma, the only one that I'm growing that's straight. My two big ones are in the corner, but this one's turning into a nice tree. I love tree. the trunks. Yeah. The so do you ones... know if they're, these are related to the Chapotacabas? Yeah, they got that curly bark, right? Yeah, they all look similar. Yeah. Does this one grow on the, the is it a coliferous tree that makes the flowers on the trunk or on the tips? It's on the tips. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you the flower. Oh, look, you got some coconuts now. growing, dude. Oh, yeah. You going to yeah, plant them out I'm here? I'm going to plant them somewhere. I just got to figure out where. What kind of tree is this? That is a night blooming jasmine. It smells really good. 